Hello everyone, my name is Mercedes and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to see It Ends With Us. If you don't know, It Ends With Us originally started out as a book. This is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This movie has a lot of discourse going on about it. I will say that this was the second book I read by Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover did get me back into reading and when I read this book I loved it so much. I was raving about it. My sister read it and then my sister got back into reading and I just want to take a second to talk about the book itself. I know Colleen Hoover gets a lot of hate when it comes to her books and her writing style. If you do compare her writing style to other authors it is a little bit more simplistic. It does have the same structure within most of her books but her books are very good for beginners. If you're looking for somewhere to start with romance I would always suggest to start with Colleen Hoover. I feel like a lot of big readers now have had a Colleen Hoover phase in the past. It has been over a year since I have read any of her books and I genuinely don't know at this point as a reader if I was to read her books again if I would enjoy them as much as I once did. This book does have domestic violence in it. Lily is in a domestic violence relationship with Ryle. I feel like at this point in time that is universally known. Within this book I think it does a really good job at showing how slowly a domestic violence situation can occur and how it doesn't happen overnight and it's something that is a collection of moments within a relationship that ultimately never gets better and continues to get worse and it takes sometimes a while to admit to yourself that you are in an unhealthy relationship and I know not all domestic violence situations are the same. I'm specifically talking for this book and I know the way that this book ended impacted a lot of women's life because a lot of women can relate to this storyline and that's actually quite sad to say. And I haven't seen the movie yet but I know that there is tons of noise surrounding the PR that went into this movie and I have to say that the more I see about it the more I agree with everyone that it is a weird approach in promoting this movie. I can't really talk too much about the movie because I haven't seen it yet and I'm going to take you guys along with me as I go to see the movie and of course share my final thoughts. I am forcing my husband to go see it with me because why not? Why, why wouldn't you want to go with me? Right? Are you excited? For the movie? Huh? I don't even know what it's called. It ends with us? Oh, see, I was thinking the last of us. Come here, Oliver. Hello, Yanto. You are so Yanto. You know, Texas Roadhouse just isn't what it used to be. It's not as good as it was. Every time I go, I'm ago. like, oh, it's just not that great. It's not that good. Every time it just gets worse and worse. Maybe it's just our location, this one, but every time it just gets... You know what's good every time? Del Forno. Oh, del Forno is uh, an Italian restaurant where we live, and it's so good. It's probably the best Italian I've ever had. Did we just eat dinner? Yes. Are we going to the store to get some snackies? Also, yes. Well, I am. Cameron probably won't get anything because he's late. No, I love you more. Say you need me. Do I need to pull up the tickets or like they got some kind of thing that they can locate the tickets for? Why are you looking at me like that? You're not going to sing like that and then just act like you did. I'm sorry. That was the best singing that I got. Ta ta! I can't see anything. It's so bright and hot and miserable the way I need fall. I, I would give anything to make it 60 degrees outside right now. I'm just gonna say that the book is infinitely better. 
Well, you don't know anything about this book. You don't well, know it nothing. Can, it can go two ways. Can we get ice cream? Sure. It, what do you need clarity on? Did he beat her? Because... <laughs> it... It showed... Flash, I, honestly... It, show, it showed flashbacks in the show and it... It looked like it, they were genuine accidents. Yes. In the movie, I, but I don't know if they actually no, were. No, I love that this is your question, and this is why I say that the book is infinitely better. Okay, you don't know any of the, anything that has happened, like publicity-wise, with it ends with us, which is no. it's great. Hold on, I want. We'll get. We'll go to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Did he actually beat her? Yes. He was actually beat her. Yes. Okay. I, 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 I actually really like that that's your opinion. That's what you're questioning within the movie. Because that's why I think what made the movie so bad in the book so much better. Because in the book, it is without a shadow of a doubt, he beat her. He abused her. So why that, didn't they show that in the movie? It's a very good question. Did he beat her or not beat her? Because if he did beat her, then... You couldn't tell within the movie if he, he beat her or not? You, you couldn't tell? The movie made it look like an accident. Huh. And then it showed a flashback from her hmm. perspective when she was scared that... But the way I took her perspective of it was that just the way how she saw it, but not necessarily how what actually happened. Right. In the book, he clearly hit her on purpose. Yeah, that's not what happened. That's it was... not what happened. Okay, I've been home for a little bit. I've sat, I've digested my thoughts. And my final conclusion is that, of course, the book is better. Nine out of ten times, the book is going to be better. And I do believe that the main focus in the book was not translated over into the movie. And that's just upsetting. So as someone who really loved the book, not seeing everything fully translate over into the movie, especially when Cameron's main question, the first question he asked me whenever we got back in the car was, did he really beat her? <laughs> uh, oh. What's the biggest difference to me between the book and the movie is that people who have only seen the movie and have not read the book, there are some people who are hashtag team Ryle. And if you have read the book, Team Ryle is not an option. It doesn't exist. If you've read the book, you know that Ryle is an irredeemable asshole and that nobody likes him and that Lily, like you are rooting for Lily the whole time while you're reading to leave that man. In the movie, that just, it, it isn't there. I think that it, it could have been more impactful. It could have been more meaningful within the plot of the movie for the domestic violence to be a little bit more obvious and not kind of glazed over because the book does not glaze over it in my opinion. To put everything aside going on with Blake Lively and Justin Baldoni, if we're just talking about the differences between the book and the movie, there's a huge difference and that is just disappointing as a reader you know if you love a book and you're excited for the movie to so long you're just fingers crossing it hoping that it's going to do the book justice and while I think you can enjoy the movie if you haven't read the book I think you can enjoy the movie and I think that there probably are some people who have read the book and still love the movie but to me I feel like things just got lost in translation a little bit too much and I wish that the DV situation was a little bit more prominent. Overall my rating from a book to on-screen adaptation I would probably give it a 5, a 5 out of 10, a 50%. I mean the book did come alive in some aspects but the main meaningful aspects of the book I don't think translated well over to on screen. I would love to hear your thoughts if you've seen the movie, if you've read the book, if you've seen and read both of them. Please let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments below. Just because this is my opinion does not mean that this is the universal opinion. It does not mean that this is what you should think if you love the movie and you've read the book. I love that for you. This is a safe space for everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for hanging out with me. I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments below. That's all I have for you today. Okay, bye. Love you.